Hello, welcome back, and I just clapped my hands, you may have heard that. To Octopath Traveler. Uh, let's... when we last left, we were hearing Cyrus's story. But there was another city-state with a history as long and as proud as our own that came to a tragic ruin only eight short years ago. Now, who can tell me its name? How about you, Therese? Therese. Uh, uh, um, I, I, I think it was. Now, now, no need to get all flustered. There's no shame in not knowing an answer so long as you have a desire to learn. Better teacher than me. Because he's a fictional character. He's written that way. He's probably going to be have a terrible thing anyway. Because we're, only, we're not really seeing good... Any teaching skills. It's just kind of a single dialogue. The answer is in your textbook. Go on now. Look it up. Hi. Yes, Professor. That is actually a good thing. Let's see. I believe it was Hornberg. That is correct. Hornberg was ruled over by a family, royal family said to be descended from priests of an ancient and long forgotten religion. On the other hand, our fair Atlas Dam was founded by one of the original clans that inhabited the Flatlands. Who can tell me how many clans lived in the Flatlands at the time, Your Highness? Yes. The histories have it that eight clans did live in the Flatlands in those days. Correct you are, Your Highness. It was a time of great strife here in the Flatlands as the eight clans waged a long and bitter war. Change would come when the armies of Grand Port invaded these lands some two centuries ago. At the time, the rulers of Grand Port sought to exert their influence over territories inland. Ironically, this compelled the warring tribes to put aside their differences and unite against their common foe. Oh, but look at the time. We'll pick up where we left off next time. Don't forget to read chapters 3 and 4 before our next lecture. And be prepared to answer questions on any of the material within. Yes, Professor. Thank you for your for another most stimulating lecture, Professor Albright. Hi. Ah, Professor Albright. Mercedes from the Royal Library came by with a message for you. Seems today's your lucky day. You've been granted permission to enter the special archives. Splendid! I, finally, I can begin my research. The library is just outside the palace. I'd best make haste. Mm. Breakfast! Oh dear. Uh. 
Professor. Oh dear. Professor Albright. Oh, thank heavens you're still here. I thought I had missed you. Yeah. What can I do for you, Your Highness? If you could spare the time, I had a question about something we learned today. Oh. But of course, Your Highness, it would be my pleasure to answer anything. Yorokonde. After all, my role as your tutor is as important to me as any of my research. Unfortunately, I cannot spare much time. Is the question a quick one? Hi. Yes, Professor, it will not take long. I was just wondering about the ancient religion of Hornburg. Pray tell, what did they worship? It's long what forgotten. A very astute question, Your Highness. It's long forgotten. However, I fear that nearly all the texts detailing the nature of the religion were burned and lost when Hornburg fell. But it was only eight years ago. I guess they didn't currently worship it, so it's the like ancient history of Hornburg. Yeah. I see. A shame that. I do, however, have a theory of my own. I believe that the royal family of Hornburg were guardians of an ancient power. Mind you, this is not idle speculation. My theory is based on the fact that... <sighs> Poor Therese. <clears throat> Let us continue the discussion another time. My apologies for, keep apologies for keeping you, Professor. Yeah. No need for apologies. It would be my pleasure, Your Highness. That such questions occur to you is a sign. That such questions occur to you is a sign of a sharp and curious mind. Mm -hmm. Your lectures on the history of the realm are most fascinating to me. For if I do not learn of our past, how can I hope to lead my people to a bright future? Oh. A most admirable philosophy, Your Highness. People of this land are truly fortunate to be led by one of such wisdom and kindness. As I am truly fortunate to have the opportunity to serve in some small way. <laughs> you are far too kind, Professor Albright. I am proud to be your student. Otto. Oh dear, I'm running late. Pray do not forget your assignment, Your Highness. Deva. Of course, Professor. Poor Therese. Did you see her? You saw her. Now oh, you yeah. see her. Oh, hello there, Therese. Did you have a question for me as well? Yeah. I mean, no. Good day, Professor. Ah, uh, I have a crush. On the teacher. Okay. Thunder Soulstorm. What do you want? I don't have anything for you. Honestly, I don't. Interesting. Yeah. This is the Royal Palace of Atlas Dam. Leave the palace and head east and you'll find the Royal Academy. The library lies to the west. Okay. Healing, healing, healing. So much healing. Okay. Hey. Head lies the audience chamber. If you would seek His Majesty's counsel, pr pray proceed. Ah. His Majesty possesses unique understanding of the scholarly pursuits. He founded the Royal Library and Academy, where nobles and commoners alike can learn freely.
So down here, Hi. the palace. Wait a minute. Hi. The palace gate lies just to the north. To east, you'll find the Royal Academy, where the realm's most promising thinkers receive their education. Hi. Okay, east and west is where we want because that's the library. That is a planter. Oh. Just south of here lies Castletown's lively place. Oh. Russell just isn't cut out for that sort of work. Whatever was he? Hmm, move along now. Cyrus. Good day, Mercedes. Cyrus Albright here to browse the special archives. Hi. Oh, Professor Albright, you're looking quite eager today. Yeah, yeah. Mm hmm. When I had heard that a complete an original copy of the Church of the Flame, a complete history, had been donated to our archives and simply had to be the first to see it. Can't be the first because somebody had to put it there. You're more on top of our collection than I am. Just sign here. Huh? With pleasure. It's something amiss. <laughs> For someone known as the most brilliant mind in the Royal Academy. When you talk about books, you're as giddy as a schoolboy. <laughs> when you put it that way, yes, much as a child is fascinated by a new toy, I am titillated by the prospect of acquiring new knowledge. <laughs> right. The expression on your face says it all. Anyway, everything seems to be in order. Enjoy your quest for knowledge, Professor. Arigato. Many thanks, my dear. I most certainly will. Mm -hmm. How odd. The tome is nowhere to be found. Did someone return it to the wrong shelf? Hmm, not here either. Hmm. These archives are strictly guarded and curated. Whatever, wherever could it have gone? Cyrus-san. Professor Albright, the headmaster would see you at once. Mm -hmm. Of all the times to, oh well, might might I ask of you a favor? Hi. What might that be? Jitsua. The tome I mentioned before seems to have gone missing. Could you locate it for me? Ore? Missing? Hmm. I'll be in looking at once, Professor. Dema. Very dusty. Many thanks, my dear. Cyrus Albright, Cyrus Albright, by your request, sir. Do enter. Imagine this is the academy, so we went the other side of the building. I mean, the city. Town. My apologies for summoning you on such a short notice. How, how might I be of assistance, Headmaster? That treatise on arcane studies you published, what in God's names were you thinking? <laughs> Sir, I... I do believe I made my hypothesis perfectly clear. I'm not talking about your hypothesis. You went out of your way to cite one of the texts in our special archives. The knowledge housed in those tomes is the Royal Academy's greatest treasure. It 
It is not to be divulged to the public at your whim. Laying it bare in one of your silly papers is out of the question. I am fully aware of the value of those tomes, headmasters. For that very reason, I would share the knowledge with my peers. You are to share nothing. That wisdom is for the academy and the academy alone. But that goes against everything. Enough, Cyrus. You're the villain. Even my best argument is sure to fall on deaf ears. The headmaster sees knowledge as a metal or precious stone, something to be appreciated by its rightful owner alone. Knowledge is power, and power is to be of a hoarded. An unfortunate attitude indeed. My sincere apology. Sorry. Apologies, Headmaster. It won't happen again. Is there anything else you need of me? That is all. You may go. Wait. There was one last thing. Sir? Are you distracting me? I think you're distracting me. I heard the special archives will be closing early today. If you have... I heard the special archives will be closing early today. If you have research to do there, I would do so quickly. And I have given... I've changed the voice again, and I will immediately forget it next time I come to this character, because it will take so long. Good... Good gods, it's as if he enjoys watching me suffer. Thank you for concern, Headmaster. In that case, I'll be on my way. You're distracting me. You're the bad guy. Enter. Enter! Excuse me, Headmaster. It's Therese. Yes, what is it, Therese? I don't even sure if this is the same voice. It's about Professor Albright, sir. Hmm. Make for the library! Yeah. This is the Royal Academy. Outless Dems, pride and joy. All are welcome to engage in the pursuit of knowledge here. Sort of. Ah, Professor Albright. Yeah. Did you have any luck finding the tome? Sorega. I'm afraid not. <laughs> well, this is most unfortunate. One may con might conclude that it had been stolen. Sonna? Professor, taking books out from these archives is strictly forbidden. And as you know, the keys to the vault are entrusted only to a select few. Quite honestly, it would be easier to steal the crown off the king's head. Mm. An impregnable vault, a disappearing tome. It would seem we have quite the mystery on our hands. And the mysteries of the world are meant to be solved. Or so the scholar in me says. Would you not agree? Eto. If it had been stolen, I would say it's a job for the city guard. But I can see you won't let it go until you've cracked the case, as it were. <laughs> you could say that, indeed. A habit I just can't seem to break. Oh, is this something you do regularly? Once a puzzle is placed before me, I simply cannot rest until I've worked out a solution. Well, far be it for me to stand in your way. It must be tough being a genius. Aha! I'll not deny it. Worry not. The tome will be back on the shelf before you can bat an eyelash. 
Hi. Right, thanks. Best of luck in your search. Sate. And the game is afoot. Now, where to begin my search? I suppose I should inquire of Mercedes as to where the keys of the li to library are stored. The guard at the front no door would know who has been frequenting the library lately, might, as might my fellow scholars. Then, mayhap, I should pay the headmaster a visit as well. Scrutinize! Oh. Let's see now. Of course I've got a key to the archives, and no, I wasn't sleeping. I was resting my eyes, is all. <laughs> but even if I was sleeping, what would it matter? What kind of fool would bother stealing a worthless tome anyway? <laughs> Most intriguing. Hmm. Oh, Cyrus, I'll trust you not to interrupt my research. Oh. Let's see now. Oh, the key to the archives. Oh, I haven't got that. But I'm not surprised someone stole a tome, considering what they're worth. I'm, f I'm gambling debts myself, so I understand the temptation. Naruhodo. Most intriguing. Cyrus -san. Have you cracked the case yet, Professor? Oh. Are you pointing? Only Headmaster Yvonne and the guard stationed outside would have a key to the library archives. Most intriguing. Hmm. Okay. Let's see now. Once in charge of protecting the king, this guard suffered a serious leg injury and was since transferred to a calmer post inside the grounds. Though the injury healed long ago, he hasn't mentioned it to anyone and enjoys the serenity of his new post. Aha! Uh -huh, a hidden item. A oh, soul stone. Very cool. Let me guess. I'm going to find what... Yep. I do not think this is where I should be going at the moment. Hmm, hmm, hmm. This is the Royal Academy Atlas Dem's pride and joy. All are welcome to engage in the pursuit of knowledge here. Oh, oh. Born and raised in Atlas Dem, this old widow now visits the place every day in memory of her late husband. Even after she passes, she wishes to be by her husband's side, just like the relief of the king and queen in the Academy's library. Naruhodo. Hidden item. I don't see the hidden item. Let's... There! Hidden item. Ooh! A big plum. Oh, that's going to be important. No way down there. Okay, it is about time for new videos. See you in a moment.